Let's look more closely at the process level type, dynamic process properties. A dynamic process property value can be set at the beginning of the process and retrieved later in a different part of the process. They're available across other processes initiated via the process call shape, as is common in parent-child process designs. A property set in the parent is available to the child, and a property set in the child is available to the parent after execution. A process property value can be persisted and the value remembered for future process executions. Dynamic process properties can be set in the set property shape. Keep in mind, when setting the dynamic process property name, you need to remember the exact name assigned because it is spelling and case sensitive. You can also set a dynamic process property in a map with the set dynamic process property map function. A third way to set a dynamic process property is with Groovy Script. To retrieve a dynamic process property, you can use the parameter type list from most process shapes or in a map via the get dynamic process property map function. Remember, no matter where you're retrieving the property, be sure to enter it exactly how it was when you created it. You can also retrieve a dynamic process property using Groovy Script. Dynamic process properties can also be persisted. When a process is deployed, a dynamic process property that is persisted can be edited or deleted under the Atom Management tab. Click the Deployed Processes tab, select the Process blue drop-down arrow containing the persisted process property, and then select Edit Process Properties. The Edit Process Properties pane will display the last run and last successful runtime stamps, as well as the property name and value, all of which can be modified. The property can be, del can be deleted, or a new one created. For a local runtime, persisted process properties of deployed processes are stored in the execution directory of the attached atom. 